In this video, you're going to learn how to speak English easily in an easy manner. I'm going to show you three very simple strategies. If you follow these three strategies or these three methods, I should say, you will absolutely become a fluent speaker in the English language 100%. I have confidence that you can do it. Before I jump into the three strategies, quick disclaimer, I'm going to assume that you understand the basic grammatical rules of the English language and you also understand the most commonly used words, expressions, and phrasal verbs in the English language. This video is mainly directed at people at the A2 or the B1 level of English. Now to jump in, the first strategy is simply to listen to English media with English subtitles. There are a few things that you really need to pay attention to when you are doing this. The first thing is you need to listen to English media that is relevant to your specific lifestyle. If you're interested in sports, you should be listening to media that involves vocabulary about sports. If you're interested in music, same thing, you understand. Not only should you be listening to things that you're interested in, but you should also be listening to realistic dialogues and realistic conversations amongst native English speakers and or fluent English speakers. Examples of realistic conversations will take place in many YouTube videos, many interviews, and many podcasts, to give a few examples. On the contrary, if you're listening to dramatic TV shows or dramatic movies where the overwhelming majority of what they say is not really realistic or relevance to the real world, then that may impact the speed by which you learn how to have real conversations with real people in real life. Another crucial thing that you need to pay attention to is you need to listen to English media that is at your current level of English. This will not work if you're an A2 level of English and you try listening to media that is meant for people at the C2 level of English. If you cannot understand at least around 80% of what is being said in the video that you are listening to, then the level is too high for you and you need to listen at a lower level of English or closer to your level of English. The reason why I say 80% is because it will be extremely inefficient and extremely frustrating for you if you need to stop every 15 to 30 seconds to look up a word or an expression that you do not understand. That's why it's important that you listen to English English media that is really close to your current level of English. In terms of the length of the content that you choose to listen to, it does not necessarily have to be really long. It can be a short TikTok clip that's 20 seconds long. It can be a YouTube video that's five to 10 minutes long, or it could be a whole podcast that is one hour long. It doesn't really matter as long as you're practicing this for at least about an hour a day in total. As you see the subtitles on the screen to the media that you're listening to, you should also be reading along with it. By virtue of exercising your mouth and getting muscle memory of actually saying the words that you see, this by itself is going to improve your speaking skills because you are physically training your mouth to speak English like a native English speaker. This leads me to the second strategy, which is you need to express yourself. So after you're done listening to your English media for roughly an hour or however long the session is, I want you to actually form an opinion based on what you just listened to. Before you express yourself, you should collect your thoughts. An easy way to do this is to open up the notes application and simply write out or type out your thoughts based on what you just consumed from the English piece of media. Write out your thoughts and once you've collected them, then express them out loud and really train your mouth to express your opinion as if you were talking to a real person. You can do this all by yourself. As you do this exercise, it can work if you're doing it with a real speaking partner, but this is also fine to do by yourself, and you can actually make a lot of progress by doing this all by yourself. And the final part of the strategy is simply repeat. Repeat this process. That's it. I want you to record yourself speaking and expressing your opinion about what you just watched at least one time per a month. If you do these exercises every single day for at least one hour and you do it every day for the span of one month, two months, 
three months, all the way up until a year, and you record yourself at least one time per month, you will see a huge difference in your ability to communicate, your ability to express your thoughts, and your ability to speak English as time elapses. The methods that I've given you are proven methods that work not just the English language, but pretty much every single language. The strategy of doing this is very easy to do, super easy to do as long as you have access to the internet and you can make about one hour per day. If there were to be anything difficult about this, it may be having the discipline to actually make that one hour every single day for 365 days in a year. In my opinion, that really just comes down to your decision on how much you want to improve your English. If you want to practice this for eight hours every single day, then you're probably going to learn English in a really short period of time. If you want to practice this 30 minutes a day, then maybe it can take you longer than one year to improve your English. It all depends on what your particular purpose is for learning the English language and what you want to get out of this. So that's it. Listen with English subtitles, express yourself, and repeat the process. Now, if you're curious about what your current level of English is, I recently created an English proficiency quiz. You can access this in the pinned comment below, or I'll leave a link somewhere in the description as well. That's all for today, and I will see you in the next video.